Meghan Markle invoking Wallace Simpson. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is is uh, starting to get excited about the celebrations and the pending festivities that we have. Here are a couple of uh, characters here that that I saw the other day in the shop, and uh, yeah, they're going to be our little channel's mascots and help with our readings. So I'll just put them aside here. Now, uh, this reading, I've got the girls out here. Uh, the modern day girls and um, having a look at the mannerisms this week of MM uh, I got a weird energy reading that she's invoking Wallace Simpson so oops <laughs> mm, I think she might be nine of cups okay so um, what I've got here is I did a, a, a quick search because, you know, sometimes I get messages just really, really random. And true to form, there were many, many outfits that she has worn that despite the fact I know she likes to uh, channel Diana or allegedly entertainment purposes only, Megan likes to channel Diana because of what Harry said and her lying down like she did and I don't want to go any further than that. But when I had a look, especially where they got booed that time, which was at the uh, Jubilee and her weird walk in Invictus Games in Germany, Dusseldorf, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think she's channeling. Whether she knows it or not, I don't know. And that's what these readings are. That's what I'm doing. So, girls, ladies, thank you for coming out. Uh, ladies, what's the energy? Is Megan Markle channeling Wallace Simpson? Is Megan Markle channeling Wallace Simpson? Cards. Is Megan Markle channeling purposely Wallace Simpson? All right, okay, let's do it. All right. Wow, she's definitely building from the ground up with the tower reversed. Temperance, she's testing the waters. She's testing the waters and she's blending. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Oh, my goodness, I've got goosebumps. Seven of Wands and she's defensive about it. She's defensive. She thinks she's winning the with the Five of Swords. She thinks she's won the battle, but she actually hasn't. She hasn't. The King of Pentacles reverse. This is probably Harry. This is probably Harry not happy about it or doesn't know about it. Probably doesn't know about it. King of Pentacles. Actually, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Who was she married to? Uh, he was the king, wasn't he? Did I get his birth date? I don't think I did. I did write, uh, Edward, Gemini. No, no, that's not him. I did write that down. Wow. Fancy having that foresight. <laughs> Just kidding. Sorry, rambling people. Okay. Um. Yeah, she is. She is. She is testing the waters. Yes, absolutely. And she's blending. She's building the ground up. She... Wallace Simpson cannot, unless she left her body before she moved on, um, she cannot be reincarnated because Megan was born before Wallace passed. But she can be earthbound, which is what we call when they move on to a better place technically, but they don't go to the higher level. They just say earth, earth level, another plane so to speak, uh, she can be earthbound. And, 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 and let's just keep going with this. Judgment, second chance, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, oh, hello, I forgot these girls are graphic. Oops, <laughs> I'm going to need something bigger. There we go, I get my rock out. All right, okay, uh, yeah, second chance. She's looking for a second chance. Yep, definitely. 
Yeah, she's defensive and, and there's three involved. There's three involved. It's party time with the girls. Um, Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords reverse over the uh, thinking that she's winning, but she she isn't. She isn't winning. It's, um, yeah, it's, what can I say, BS card. Okay, getting waylaid here because I know I've got a couple. King of Cups. Chariot reverse, breaking through the barrier, or not breaking through the barriers, not speaking the truth. BS, BS here. BS and taking the burden home with the King of Cups, with the King of Cups. And the Ten of Swords is ruined. That, that, that's the problem. Both of them were ruined. Both of them were ruined with the Emotional Kings. Now, Edward wasn't technically technically a um a cups a cups person but he did leave the throne for love so yeah 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 and the burden is at home and they're trying to break through the barriers but they're not they're not successful it seems like they're working together It's scary that Harry's out there. Let's just see where we're going with this. All right. No more illusions. No more. No more. Uh, oh. <laughs> I've really got to keep these handy, don't I? Really can. And no more illusions. They're ruined. No more illusions with the happy families. Nine of Pentacles, they both actually dropped a lot of money. They uh, definitely both dropped a lot of money. And, and Megan Moore, Moore, I believe, allegedly, entertainment purposes only. And the divorces here were something in the makings here, working hard on something, working very, very hard on something. So she is working on this. She is, whether she knows it or not. Um, she is. She's defensive. She's defensive about it. She is definitely testing the waters. She's looking for a second chance because ultimately it's a divorce kind of game. Ultimately, and this is a really, really nasty, nasty person with bad words, like really bad words kind of thing, despite the fact that they're saying here there's BS as well. There's going to be no more illusions. These women were ruined or are ruined, whichever way you want to look at it, because of their their. Uh, this one's the King of Cups, anyway. And then you've got the the Nine of Swords. Uh, sorry, Nine of Pentacles that keep dropping down. So, um, yeah, no more illusions or happy families. Now, I do believe, and there was also pictures there where uh, they did puff paces but of course back in the day they they stayed married they never got divorced despite the fact that wallace was divorced a good couple of times i think three and obviously we know megan was divorced as well um but uh yeah yeah uh, here's the divorce as well another divorce card coming through eight of pentacles so what's being worked on what is being worked on something that's not really of any significance so how she's dressing is really of no significance she is not winning she's not winning any victory um the two of cups here there's no okay they're saying here no partnership no partnership was something that got stolen something that got stolen or a strategy um trying to work on something they both had their world at at their hands one had to move on if they wanted to get married and the other one could have stayed but moved on as well well the decisions that these these people make or strategy should i say yeah 
yeah not looking at all their options and 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 drowning their sorrows because i do believe i do believe they both used to like or still do there's decision there is decision about the truth to be made but yeah nothing's been done if they made that decision or not they sorry i'm talking in third part the as jewel together because she actually is invoking by dressing the way she is i think it's intentional especially when you've got things like you know uh two of swords needing a decision you know if you're not intentionally doing it then you don't need to make a decision so yeah the uh, secrets coming out in the queen of cups here we come this is diana again it's got to be diana it's all about diana she's diana has come through in the last couple of readings wow and not moving into karma waters so yeah okay okay so she's definitely definitely uh doing it in purpose uh, purposely but she's defensive of it She's defensive of it because she wants to be seen as Diana. That's really sad, isn't it? It's weird. That's your strategy. The divorce maidens, the divorce maidens that entered in, but no victory, no victory, no victory at all. Mm. Well, I am inclined to believe that too. I can't say that her her choices uh, trying to wear something that someone else wore, you know, in the 50s was actually a good. I mean, when she was in the, um, uh, what was it, not the coronation, when she was at the Jubilee, she wore exactly the same. And it had a microphone in it. <gasps> there you go. There's another reading out there, people. Pop over and have a look at that one because that actually just rang a bell. That actually had a microphone in it too. All right. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you all have a lovely, lovely time. And um, please like and subscribe. And we'll see you soon. Bye.